because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last Paul Furlong, Georgie, mate, thank you very much for giving me some of your time. Um, a really good day here for the Kyan Prince Foundation in memory of Kyan Prince, who we lost 17 years ago. Um, yeah, just to see everyone step out on the pitch, money to be raised, awareness to be made, um, a, a really good day. It was a fantastic day, you know. Um, I went to school with Mark. Uh, I was in the same class as Mark in secondary school, so I know him really well. So any little that I could do to help him, I came and done, you know. And I think it's been a great day. He's talking now and, you know, made a memory live on. And just talking about some of the boys on the pitch, that whole you never lose it thing. Joe Cole, man, he's mustered, isn't he? Yeah, he's a top player. He is a top player even now, you know, and uh, done well in, you know, a fantastic career, played for England, played at the highest level and still looks like he can play now. Most disappointing thing though, where's your boots? Yeah, I can't play. My, my, my knees, my knees couldn't take it, do you know what I mean? They need to bring the paramedics on. <laughs> uh, but kind of with a bigger picture of all this, there is a massive knife crime problem in this country. Um, and I know 17 years ago was a long time. We're still talking about it now, if anything. So it seems a lot worse now. Um, how much of a role can sport, football, boxing, everything playing, kind of trying to push that message? I think it can be massive. I mean, first and foremost, we want to um, channel the, 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 the enthusiasm and the energy of the young kids. So by, by getting them into football, getting them into boxing, those sort of things where they can challenge their aggression, challenge their energy is only a good thing. So I think the more initiatives we have in terms of those, I think will be the better. And you said you're a boxing fan. Um, what do you kind of think of the state of boxing at the moment? There's a lot going on. We've got heavyweights who need to fight each other and won't. We've got influencers fighting. How do you kind of look at the sport right now? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, first of all, the influencers, it's, it's amazing really, you know, the amount of money that they can command, you know, but fair play to them if they can get themselves in the ring. Not only are they earning money for themselves, and but they're, they're, they're raising the, uh, the, the appreciation of boxing, which is, which is good. Um, and then when you look at the boxing in general, I mean, I think back in my day when I was a lot younger, I think them fighters would have fought three or four times already now. So, but there's big money in it, I know, and, 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 and money talks, so, which is why sometimes we don't see the fights as often as we would like. Yeah, can you kind of understand the fans' frustration? Because like you said, like, if I look at kind of my dad and my uncle, they kind of always say to me, when I was younger, this would have happened. So I could kind of get where you come from. Do you kind of look at it now and have that bit of a oh, mentality? A little bit, yeah, because I mean, there's some good fighters out there and some good British ones as well. And you just want to see them get on and they want to fight each other. But I suppose there's a bit of politics in the way where there's a lot of money to be had. So there's a lot of waiting games that kind of go on. And just one more thing. If you were to step in the ring, we'll take it a few years back. Not, you said no to the pitch. So I'm not going to say the ring now, but if you were back in the day and you could have picked someone from your era in football, who would you have picked? It's in my era too of what? To you could have picked an opponent or anyone in around the football scene to fight back in the day. Oh God, interesting question. Interesting question. You put me on the spot there. Uh, one of the refs. Yeah, yeah, probably one of the refs. Yeah, you're Irene. Probably something you're Irene. And mind you, I might lose that one. Do you know what I mean? Paul, top man. Appreciate top man. that. Thank All you very best. much. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.